Hi, I'm Dr. Stuart Burgess, the Executive Director of the Children's Museum of Memphis, and I'm a developmental psychologist. If your child has started reading but doesn't love reading and needs to do more practice, we often have these long reading lists handed to us from the school. The, there are two sort of strategies that I love to share with parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, uh, babysitters uh, for summer learning with regard to reading and reading lists. One is um, show interest in the list as the adult. Show interest in how are you doing on your list? How far did we get now? Let's check them off. Let's make a chart of where you're going. Let's put a, a star sticker next to each one that we've checked off. Off. The other thing is to show interest in the books they're reading so that they can tell you about them. One thing that um, clever children can do is sit in front of an open book but not actually read. Uh, it takes mental energy to read when you're a young reader and, and so if you haven't fallen in love with that yet, it's not uncommon for kids to sit there laying on their tummy, turning the pages but not actually reading the words and thinking about the story. So ask about the story, ask what's going on in it, um, show you your interest in that so that that can sort of catch on with them. So that's one of the things is show interest in the list, show interest in the stories they're reading, um, get yourself engaged in that so they're engaged and, and so that they don't leave it to the very end of the summer where it's going to be a drudgery and really stressful to try and cram it all in at the last minute. Uh, the other thing is if you have a reluctant reader, a child who has some or most of the pieces for reading but is just not being very comfortable and fluid, doesn't like to choose to read, a really great sneaky simple trick is pick something your child really loves and get books at the right reading level about that subject. So whether it is about soccer or it's about animals, snakes, insects, uh, if it's about dolphins or horses or whatever it is that your child really gets excited about, it's interesting, interested in, if you get books that have that, those pictures on the cover, something about that in the title and that if it's fiction, that they, they have a main character that's a dog, for example, then you get a stack of books like that Children will tend to read those books cover to cover like they're the most obsessed, happy reader on the planet just by picking the topic that they would enjoy. So be a little bit sneaky and, and slip in a bunch of books you know they'd love and it makes it easier to become a reader.